Hey everybody, welcome back. Let's talk about eight ways you can get more likes, shares, comments, and engagement on your posts. So we all post on social media, right? For some it's personal, for some it's professional, why? We do that in order to share what we've learned, what we know, to share value with our colleagues, to share news, to attract new customers and new partners, to boost our professional engagement, to create brand awareness for ourselves and our businesses, and to create brand recognition. Because when it comes down to it, if you're out of feed, you're out of mind. So we post. We post and then what happens? We hear crickets. There's tons of competition out there. I like to call it the battle for eyeballs. We need to cut through the clutter. We need to boost engagement. Now I'm not talking about fake internet points and I'm not talking about vanity metrics or anything that's just for your ego's sake. What I'm talking about is true engagement. What benefits your business and your clients' businesses? So let's talk about eight ways you can get more likes, shares, comments, and engagement on your posts. Number one, no pick, no post. You've heard the expression, a picture is worth a thousand words. Well, online humans have about a nine second attention span. It's less than a goldfish. In fact, social media marketing world says that picture posts or image posts get 10 times more interaction than posts without images. So use images, use graphics, use infographics, use video and audiograms, use carousels, anything with a pic, it's going to help your post get more engagement. Number two, have something to say. Be opinionated, take a chance, have a point of view. There's nothing more boring than a milk toast post. Don't be boring. Don't be middle of the road. Ask for opposing viewpoints. Post about topics that generate debate. Have something to say. Number three, stopping power. Just like number one, no pick, no post, you wanna make sure that your images, your posts have stopping power. It could be with words, it could be with images. The goal is to stop the endless thumb scroll. Make sure your images are striking. They could be cute, cat video, they could be trendy, they could be drama filled. Just make sure that they're powerful. It could be powerful color, it could be powerful cropping, whatever that is. You just wanna make sure that your posts have stopping power. Number four is invitation only. You have to ask to receive. You wanna ask a question and ask for answers. Invite engagement is the only way to get engagement. Ask rhetorical questions, topical questions, trendy questions, newsworthy questions, philosophical questions, industry themed questions, whatever that is, ask questions, make them provocative and invite engagement. Number five I call tag you're in. You have to leverage tags and hashtags. In order to get more eyeballs on your post, you gotta invite people in. So if it's a curated post, you could tag the original author, possibly in the first comment of the post, or you could tag other colleagues or people who follow you. You wanna use hashtags so your posts show up in hashtag theme lists. Using tags is a great way to increase the likes, shares, and comments and engagement on your posts because you are putting the message out there, not just showing up in a feed, but you're showing up in people's notifications that they've been tagged in something. Number six is be transparent. Be human. Don't be a brand bot. Don't be a marketing bot. Don't be plastic. Be fallible. Be human. Let people into your life. Show them what's behind the scenes. Practice radical transparency. People really respond to it. Number seven is ask for it. You don't get what you don't ask for. Ask for what you want. If you want likes, ask for likes. If you want comments, ask for comments. If you want shares, ask people to share it. People aren't going to do it without having a call to action. So just like you have calls to action on your website, have a call to action in your social media posts. It could be going to your webpage to get a lead magnet. It could be just liking or sharing the post. But number seven is you gotta ask for it. And finally, number eight is you gotta make it share worthy. If you're gonna get shares and comments and likes, you gotta make it share worthy. Share something shareable. It could be a top 10 listicle. It could be an infographic. It could be an inspiring quote. 
It could be a checklist or some sort of a lead magnet link or some sort of really incredible curated article. Share something shareable. And the side benefit for this is that you are helping drive people to other sites, to your landing page, to your lead magnets, or you're doing email list building. But the more you make your posts shareable, the more engagement you're going to get. I want to take a quick break and tell you about a cool Facebook group I've started. It's called Brand Design Masters. It's a private group. All you have to do is answer a few questions in order to get in. But once you get in, you're going to be part of a really vibrant community full of creative professionals, entrepreneurs, and business people who are networking, sharing feedback, sharing news and resources and trends and inspiration with each other to drive their businesses forward. It's a really vibrant community and I invite you to come over and join. So go to facebook.com slash groups slash brand design masters and apply to get in today. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching this video on eight ways to drive more likes, shares, and comments on your social media posts. And if you did like it, please hit subscribe below so you can see my videos when they come out and make sure to hit that notifications bell so you can get alerted when I post something new or when I go live. And if you need help with your brand strategy, your brand design, or your professional creative career, or your social media marketing, reach out to me at philipvandusen.com and let's see what we can do to get you to the next level. And with that, thanks again for watching and bye for now.